Hi guys and welcome back. Today we are hitting the mat for this amazing ab blaster. So if you are ready to get some super strong powerhouse abs for summer, roll out your mat, come with me now, and let's do it. So I'm going to come all the way down onto your back. That is where we are starting. So arms in front here, tuck the chin, slowly roll all the way back down with some nice control. It starts here, it starts here. Knees are going to come up into a tabletop position. So notice that means that the knees stop over the hips. They do not come all the way to here. That is not a tabletop. So knees right there, inhale, arms overhead, press the lower back down like you are cracking a plate underneath. And exhale, lift up here. We start from our hundreds. So you're going to inhale, two, three, four, Five, exhale, two, three, four, five. So gaze is just at those knees. You are tucking the navel down. So especially on that exhale, I want you to draw in, pressing the lower back down. There should be a little hole in your mat when you stand up and continue that breathing here. Squeezing abs nice and tight. If you need to give the neck a little support, you can take one hand back. Make sure you switch on your next inhale. I want you to take it up a level. So legs extend all the way straight, heels squeezing together. Keep drawing that navel in. Ooh, and my legs are shaky. <laughs> if you're wondering why, uh, check out one of my bar routines, which I just filmed. And your legs can be this shaky too. This actually really does pair nicely with one of those routines. So something like a cardio bar workout to burn a little bit of fat, and then you can shred those abs underneath. Get all nice and lean and sculpted. And final variation here, see if you can drop the legs a little bit. If the lower back is lifting up here, I want you to go a little higher, put a little bit of a bend back in the knees. So keep that lower back down. Couple more breaths here and bring the legs up. I want you to grab either the calf or the back of the thigh of one leg, not the knee though. So either of those spots, we're just going to pull, pull and switch. Pull, pull and switch. You could also rest the head back down now. So modification here, put a little bit of a bend in the knee, grab behind the thigh, keep that lower back down and just do that little pull, pull and switch. But nice and controlled here. And we're gonna make this so much harder in just a second for four, three, two, one. Hold it here. We are dropping the hands in three, two, one. Same thing, pull, 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 pull. So your abs now are responsible for that little pulse. You see now how much your arms were helping out. Well, we don't get their help anymore. Party's over. Whole different beast. Give me four, three, two, and one. Hold it there. So I want you to grab that leg here. So again, either calf or thigh. That other leg is floating, unless you want to modify. So if you want to modify this next series, you're just going to drop that foot down, plant it, press the lower back down still. So that is another option. If you want to go super, super big and crazy here, you're going to keep it extended, hovering off of your mat. Ooh, <laughs> keeping this top leg up, we release the hands. Arms are going all the way back here. You're going to wrap around, clap. I want to hear a nice, big clap. So it is not just like a wimpy little crunch. It is the real deal. Reaching all the way back in between for four, three, two. We're gonna stay up there on one. Hold it, pulse eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, tiny little bend of that leg, lift. So just a little extension, keeping head, neck, and shoulders up if you can. If you need to rest down, you can do that as well. Give me three, 
two, hold it here for four, three, two, one. Knees come in. Give it a quick little wiggle out. We do have to switch sides. So other side, do whatever you did on that first side. So if you modified, modify it here again, be consistent with it. Um, if you had an extended power through, you've got this. So we drop the hands in three, two, one. Arms reaching along overhead, inhale. On the exhale, Hiya! <laughs> Makes you feel powerful. So don't cheat that clap. Four more here. Last one. Ah, pulse it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it. A little tiny bend and press and press. Four, three, two, hold it. Four, three, two, one. Bring it in. Oh my. I don't know if I'm dying because I just filmed a really brutal one right before this, or I just don't know. <laughs> I'm dying a little bit though. Hug both knees in here. So double leg extension here. Again, option to have head, neck, and shoulders lifted. If the back of the neck is getting a little sassy, oh, lay it down, sweet relief. Either way is good. Inhale on the exhale. Everything's just going to extend nice and long. Inhale, hug it back in. That hug feels so nice. So if you have head down here, you're just going to extend there. Make sure that lower back stays planted on the mat, even through this. So little tip here, if the back is lifting up, I want you to aim the legs higher. So that's going to keep it pressed down. If the abs are here to play, go low, low, low. And go there for four, three, Two. Last one. Hands behind the nape of the neck. If that has lifted, straight into a double leg lift. So you're just gonna lower to that same point again. Exhale, lift up. If the lower back needs a little extra support, hands underneath the tailbone. So you're just gonna press that lower back into the little hole you're creating and lift up. Inhale down. Exhale, lift. You can modify with a little bit of a bend in the knees as well. So doing a nice little rocking motion there, a little bit milder. You can rest that head down. Meditate, close your eyes, go to your happy place. Maybe you're in your happy place right now. And give me three more. A lot of double leg lifts, we're serious. And one, and we're gonna combo those two. So legs come down, we draw in, we extend, we lift, we lower, we draw in, we extend. Keep it going. Give me two more. Hope your abs are feeling the burn. And last one here. And bring it in. Give those knees a nice little hug. <laughs> Step the feet down onto the mat. Extend all the way along here. So feet are flexed, heels pressing down, toes pulling back toward you. Feet about hip diff the distance <laughs> apart. Lower back press down. Inhale. Reach arms all the way long, thinking of stretching nice and long here. On the exhale, trying not to use any momentum. You're just going to peel all the way up. Pop the chest at the top. 
tuck everything in, slowly roll back down. So if you have to use a little bit of momentum to get up, I want you to be really conscious of that roll down. So you're really going to slow it down and focus on building that strength there. I love to tuck these at the end of an ab workout when you're like most exhausted. If you start with them, they're really not bad at all. If you finish with them, it's, it's just, yeah, it's something special. Two more here. And you can always do these with a weight in your hands as well. <clears throat> That's another fun variation. Good option. Last one, we're going to stay up here at the top. And are you ready for our finisher? Ready or not, here it comes. Give the legs a quick little shake out here. Whew, roll the shoulders back. We got this, we got this. So feet long here, feet still flexed. Reach arms in front. You're going to lean a little bit back. Roll shoulders back, pop the chest, hold it here. Just hold it. Just hold it, abs tight, reach the right arm up, hold. Take it down. Left arm up, hold. Take it down, lift back up. Give it a little shake out. If you're feeling those hips, you might wanna take a second to just bring the knees wide, give them a little wiggle out there. So as the abs get stronger, that'll go out of the hips and come into the abs. So they'll, they'll take responsibility. They just need to uh, learn, learn the tools. So reach it forward again here. This time I want you to go back a little bit lower. Hold it here, pop that chest, roll shoulders back. Reach the right arm up, hold. Bring it down, left arm, you should be shaking. Bring it down, all the way back up. Give it a little shake out. Can we do just one more level of those? Just one more, that's all I ask. Give the hips a little wiggle out. Oh. Last one, last one. Lean it back, low as you can go. Lift that chest, right arm up. Bring it down, left arm up. Bring it down, hold, hold, hold. And slowly, 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 slowly. Roll all the way back down. Whew, reach arms up overhead. Give it a little shake out here. Go ahead, flip it over. Come on to your stomach. Woo! Hands underneath here. So hands underneath, shoulders, press into the tops of the feet. Inhale, press up, shoulders down away from the ears so you could keep a little softness in the elbows. You can also take a little wiggle out here. I like to do a little bit of twist side to side. Oh. Feels so good for the abs. And then you can press back to a child's pose if you so desire. And when do we not desire child's pose? Every time is a good time for a child's pose. And go ahead, press it back up. We made it. We made it through that ab blaster. So like I said, this is a great one to pair with one of my other workouts. Um, so especially one of those ones that has a little bit more cardio in it, just to spark that fat burn. Because remember, your abs can be super, super strong, but if there's a layer of fat on top, you might not see a whole lot of definition there. So pair it with one of those, and I know that you will feel the burn for sure. So let me know if you like this video by giving it a thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe to the channel to see fresh new workouts every Monday, and let me know what you would like to see more of. I will see you in the next one. Thank you guys, bye.